It's been an extremely hot day here in the UK, but I'm gonna do a June garden tour for you, starting at the front of the house with my iceberg roses, which cover both sides of the front door and they grow down the sides. And we have lavender, which is just starting to come out, varying sizes depending on the age. And as you can see, the roses are down the front as well. So then we walk towards the back garden through the side gate here. More roses, they really do smell wonderful as well. And then we've got my climbing hydrangea, which I think is quite old, and that is almost in full flower as well. And then from here, we can see all the way down the garden. We've got jasmine growing here, which has just come into bud. You can just see on these three uh, parts of the pergola here. And down here is my shady border. So we have got iris, photodissima, I will put it in the description box. This iris is the only native iris to the UK. And it either has this sort of pale blue colored flower they're just coming out or they're yellow so sometimes they're yellow sometimes they're blue then we have my oak leaf hydrangea which has got flowers coming but they're quite a long way off yet and then this is my shady border that i did clearing the bluebells if you remember and this tree bench uh, we've just pay uh, just painted this blue color it used to be white and i was actually got this free uh, for a reclamation place because it was so rusty and old and I think I've done quite a good job in reviving it so this corner is covered in white flowers um, and we have ferns and hostas and foxgloves which are all coming into flower now I try to keep the foxgloves white or pale uh, foxgloves because they show up best and then we have my garden mirror and some candles here as well and then going round this now gets a bit more light in this corner we've got a few more foxgloves uh, this is a mock orange which is now in flower in the corner here and more hostas and ferns different types now something that my garden suffers with I think because I'm the wall garden is I do get uh, mildew and you can see there on the bear's britches, uh, acanthus, I think that is, and they always seem to suffer in my garden. I'm coming down here. Now I did look up the name of this plant, and I think it's a type of Wigella, Wigella, um, but the bees love it. Absolutely, look at the little fellas, they go from flower to flower for absolutely ages, all different types of bees. There's some more down there. They just love it. Another one. It's really pretty lilac colour. And then we come along to the pond, um, which brings so much wildlife into my garden. Um, last night, actually, we were just sitting out here at about half past nine, and a little hedgehog walked behind here. And I'll show you when we go around the other side that I've actually got a little hedgehog house, so he could actually be, or she, uh, living in there. So if we come up to the um, pond there's a little seat here and I can show you the view back to the house now it has been an extremely hot day and the shade from this magnolia is really welcome and I have a hammock um, in the shade here and we also have this little table and chairs with my chandelier above so we'll take a little look now at the top of the garden. This border, um, we've got uh, African cake daisies and we've got a lot of alliums which have gone over and I will be tidying those. Um, we've got more white daisies there which will come out later. So we'll go around my large conifers here and we're now at the back of the pond and I have um, a little sort of walkway into a bench seating area through here, if you can just see a little stepping stones. So if we go through here, I'll show you the pond from the back. Little seat there, so we have a little secret seating area. So then we're at the top of the pond, 
with the waterfall coming down and then you can see back out into the garden there. So yeah, coming back out again. And along here, I've set up a little seating area, um, table and chairs, because it's been dry for so long, I've been able to do that. Um, and I've set some lights up actually in this tree for the first time, um, which are really nice. Um, I'm gonna do an IGTV um, in the evening with all the lights and candles lit, so you might want to have a pop over to my Instagram and have a look at that. Um, so this is Jerusalem Sage, which is just coming into flower. This is very old. I actually did that, give that a good cut back. And then we've got another white rose up there. And then this is my laburnum tree, which is now all the flowers have fallen off and we've got thousands of little seeds. I mean, they're deadly poisonous. Um, so you do have to be careful, but they are beautiful, delicate trees. So we're coming along. We've got another acanthus here, which has not got the uh, mildew yet. And he's actually covered in flowers. So we'll see how that copes. And then we're coming along now to this bed, which needs a little bit of attention because all the alliums have gone over. And what I like to do is bunch them together um, in plant holders. So I'll be doing that probably at the end of this week. Um, so we've got the fountain here, my little pathway. And again, on my Instagram, there's a highlight on how I did, how I fitted the uh, pathway because I did it myself, with my husband. And then we come to the garden room, which I haven't got the fire lit because it's just too hot today. Um, I've got a Princess Diana Clematis coming there, which has actually got lots of buds coming, um, which will be beautiful. They're like dark pink flowers. And uh, yeah, into here we've, where I've got some peonies because we can't, you can't keep plants alive in the, in the back of here because it's dark. I just have some ivy and then some succulents and then I just put fresh flowers in here to dress it when we're using it. And then we have the view back to the house from here. So from the outside room behind this hedge is my vegetable garden. So I'll just show you over the hedge first. My munch two peas are just getting some little pods on them. They're covered in flowers, so I should be picking those. I've got my dahlia sitting there in pots waiting to go into the fountain border in a few weeks' time. My baby sweet corn, which is coming along beautifully. My old ladder, which I love. And then that you can see the beginning of the grapevine there. And my strawberry and fruit bed. So we'll go into the centre through my very old gate which you could do with painting it's another job that needs doing it's my everlasting sweet pea which I think I did, did start yes it has got some little buds coming there the flowers are very slow this year and then we've got courgettes different yellow and green courgettes growing here or zucchini right depending on where you come from and then I've got some patty pan squash here and then we have some sunflowers and my little seating area and my um, shed the water button shelving and then we go into the greenhouse this is my topu squirrel which has had a little trim very recently some herbs in a pot there so my tomatoes i have all different types and they are covered in flowers but we haven't actually got any set tomatoes stenciled floor still looking good two years on and my cucumbers i have these mini cucumbers which i grow up this little obelisk um, and then the cucumbers just hang off and it just keeps it under control because they do like to go a little bit crazy cucumbers and then I've got a little chair in here as well because I do like to have lots of seating areas in the garden my crates for keeping everything tidy in the greenhouse chilies these are my rudbeckia which are waiting to go out into the borders these are the cuttings I took of olives um, which if you follow me on Instagram you'll know about those and then I've got some uh, aubergine plants here which will need to be potted on again before they produce and then we come out and then you've got you back down towards the house there and then we have my hens i've only got three um one of them doesn't lay anymore the white one's not laying and she's actually eating this one here's eggs i've discovered very naughty so i'm only actually getting about one egg a day which is not brilliant but uh, they're pets really. <laughs> I've got a little herb bed here, which has got 
absolutely lots, loads of different herbs that I use. So rosemary, chives, marjoram, mint, tarragon, uh, thyme. Uh, there's lots and lots of different herbs in there. I come down here, my hanging baskets, which I planted up ages ago. They're only just getting going. I only just got a few white, white um, petunias there um, and it should end up to be a big ball of flowers eventually by the end of the summer and I've also planted up some sort of similar looking petunias on this plant stand just to keep it in keeping we've got some cosmos and some more rudbeckia um, which came from my mother-in-law which will be going in to the gaps in the borders so where we've got little gaps here and here I should be popping some rudbeckia in um, for flowers later in the summer so we come to the patio now, um, which I think I've talked about before. So I'm going to do a, a YouTube on the wisteria. And as you can see, all the flowers are now gone um, and it could do with a little trim. So I'm going to do the trim and then add it onto the end of my wisteria YouTube. So it's all together. I've got another little water feature here, which is a millstone, which me and my husband put in together. So there's a reservoir underneath and then the water just bubbles up and circulates but it does empty out quite quickly so we have to keep an eye on uh, filling that up or it will go off and then we've got my olive which I've talked about before um, on YouTube and also the two either side of the door and then we've got the bar is through that door there so this seating area is really a social space you can get lots of people out of here and then I'll just show you the view back I mean I keep this quite green um, here because it is quite shady I only get sun in the late afternoon in this corner but it's, it's cloudy now and then the view back from here is really quite nice you can see to the top of the trees and it's sort of cozy little corner